Hi and welcome. Today we will discuss how to trace image using pen tool. First we will import image to trace. I will use this Twitter logo. You can just copy image and then pass it on the canvas using keyboard shortcut control Wii. Or you can right click on the image and save image on computer. Then go to files and click place, choose your image. Your mouse will have the logo attached of that image. Once you click on the canvas the image will be placed. Now, to trace image there are two options. Automatic trace and manual trace. To apply auto trace either select image and go to option bar you will see image trace option. Or go to properties and find trace option there. Once you click on trace you will find nothing is visible in some cases. But don't worry, go to option bar and change the preset from default to high fidelity. Now your image is vector based, but there is still a problem persist. If you zoom you will find the edges are very sharp and unequal. So today we won't going through details of auto trace as. We will be talking about it later. Now we will talk about manual tracing using pen tool. Go to the layers and add new layer. I'm going to name it Twitter logo. Select the image we downloaded. Then click on three small lines. Click on the template it will lock your image so that it won't be affected by any changes we make and also down its opacity so we can work easily. Once it's done we can start our work. So first to create ellipse we won't be using pen tool. Because it's too difficult to create one. Instead we will use ellipse tool. Click on ellipse tool under rectangle tool. Then using shift key draw on the canvas. Resize and adjust ellipse. Now if you go to layer panel, you will see a path has been created under the layer. Pick pen tool from the tools or press P and start tracing image. Don't go far from the line you are tracing, try to stay close to that while adjusting the curve. To make sharp edge, hold ALT key and click on the point. Once you complete Once you tracing, complete tracing use anchor direct tool selection to adjust tool the curves and use direct selection tool to adjust points position. Alternatively while you have pen tool you can hold alt key to bring anchor point tool and hold control key it will bring direct selection tool. Now go to layers and click on the little radio button on the right of the each path it will select the path you can then fill it with color.
if you want to copy colors from previous image. Pick the Add Drop tool. Select the path where you want to apply color. Then bring the previous image to the top on Layers panel so that you can select color from that. After selecting color, bring the image down and hide it or just remove it. It's done! You can create color palette at the beginning so you won't have any issue like that, but we will discuss it later. I don't need that color so I'm changing color. Now group the image and go to Files and Export. Define file type for example PNG is for transparent background. You can also export it by selecting image and go to export selection. Now decided the width or height of the image. I'm setting it to 10,000. That's it. Thanks for watching.